Molo, Haita, how's it? Sanbunani, bonjour. I'm the real Peter de Villiers. This is our news. Let's get it on. Who are you? Hi, Chalise. I'm Peter de Villiers. But you're so tall and handsome, and you have big arms, and your voice is so deep. And you don't even look stupid. I mean, it's so terrible how the media can distort people's identities. How so? Well, according to the media, you're a joke. And they keep saying that I'm nothing like the girl I was when I left South Africa. I can't imagine why that is. Well, they say that my accent is put on because I grew up in Benoni, but it sounds like I'm from Burbank, California. I can understand why people could be confused. It's a perfectly good accent, Peter. It's, it's called Bernoni. <laughs> they don't understand. It's like what Gaga says, I was born this way. I'm sure deep down inside you're still Afrikaans girl from the East, though. Sure. I love Burrowvors. And I love rugby. You do? Yeah. I just love the way it can bring a nation together. You know, I get so excited when the quarterbacks score a try. I think you're confusing rugby and American football here. Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about good old rugby. You know, like when the fly half makes a touchdown. I just love it when all those flybacks scrum each other. It's so exciting. Uh, yeah, have you seen a rugby game recently, Charlize? Sure. I was in South Africa for the World Cup in 2010. It was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. It was the FIFA World Cup. I know. South African football is just another term for rugby. Uh, there's no such thing as South African football. There's soccer, which is what we call football in South Africa, and there's rugby, and then there's American football, which is like rugby, but not exactly. Oh my God, you're so confused, okay? It's true what they say about you. You really are stupid. So Vic, you retired? Yeah, man, I want to go out on a high. But the box recently lost the World Cup. That's not exactly a high. Oh, yeah. What do you think you'll miss most when you retire? Bakish! I'll miss Bakish! Uh, that's right, the two of you are very close, eh? Yeah, man, but two of us is like brothers. It's like Bakish is the fly to my half, the fool to my back. But I did in my open side. I get it. You're, uh, close. Yeah, man. Bakish is like my wife. Ship, you know, with our, uh, you know. Right, well, you know, I've retired from rugby and I can tell you it's not easy in the beginning. Yeah, I know. I keep having dreams that I've been a scrum, but then I wake up and it's just Fifi, my bull mastiff, sitting on my face. So what are your plans for the future then? Well, I've written a book. What is it about? Me. What's it called? Victor. Victor, perfect. And like the coach himself said, there are a time to come and there are a time to go. And there are a time to go into sports commentating. But I don't think now I have a time for that yet. What do you mean? I'm hoping I can do some coaching. But don't tell Peter. I mean, not you, the real Peter. I mean, the Peter Puppet. But there are many things you can do. Why do you want to go into coaching? So that I don't have to become a super sport presenter. So you're playing for France now? Yeah, ja, ich bedoel, oui. Ah, learning French? Yeah, ja, man, just as I was getting the hang of English. So why did you decide to move to France then? Ever since Victor left the team, you know it wasn't the same. You know, I'm South African and I played for France. Is it? Yeah, ja, what, other, what other French stuff have you learned? French phrases, words? Oh, sont, oh, the toilet. Not bad. See who's playing. Mm. They're learning me my please and thank yous is there by the French school. But they're not so friendly, those French owners. Ah, listen, if you don't feel at home, tell them to teach you a couple of crucial phrases. Then they'll be very happy with you. Like what? Attrape les couilles. What are it meaning? And grab your opponent's balls. Yes, luck. There's luck. Here for my no here. Oh shit, l'arbitre. Oh shit, la what? F*** you, ref. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. It's what I always want to say. Yes, France is magnificent, Bucky. So much beauty and culture. The food is superb there. You'll love it. 
I haven't been able to find a stick of biltong. If I don't find some real war soon, I'm afraid of what will happen to me. You'll get used to it, man. Just give it a bit of time. I'm scared. What if I lose my rugby powers? No, I've lived in France for a long time and I haven't lost any of my rugby powers, Buckies. All right. Merci, go poop. <laughs>